Hey everyone, so we're outside book off. This place is crazy. It's got all kinds of stuff going on inside, games and books and DVDs and everything. But of course, what we're looking for is what you see right there, CDs. We're gonna be doing so much hunting through CDs in here, it's gonna blow your mind. So what did I tell you guys? Look at this place. It's crazy amounts of CDs in here. You can never, ever get enough. All right, this one here is my favorite Allman Brothers album. Love this one. It's the one that got me into the band. All right, here's another great one. Check this one out. Adrian Ballou. Love this one. Mr. Plastic Head. All right, so here's another good one. John Bon Jovi's solo album, Destination Anywhere. It's actually really good, in my opinion, if you're a fan of Bon Jovi. Definitely has a 90s sound, but it's pretty good. All right, here's another one that I'm surprised is actually here. Check this one out, Electric Boys. Love this debut album. Can't help but pull this one out. The Sad Loss with Taylor Hawkins passing. Great album though. All right, here's one that I was actually listening to this morning. This one here's a fantastic one with four really great hits on it. All right, so you got options here with the original Best of Kansas, this one featuring one unreleased track at the time, Perfect Lover, or you can get the remastered edition where they remove that track and add three additional tracks. So just got done seeing these guys at the Beacon. Really great performance by them. All right, so here's the one I actually came for and was hoping to find this one, which is about $23 on Amazon right now. Five bucks here, very good deal. Here's one I was surprised to see in here. It's not in the soundtrack section, it's kind of randomly in here, but it's got a great track listing on it. I love the song Mighty Wings by Cheap Trick. So occasionally you can find some sealed in plastic here. That's always kind of cool when they're still brand new. Five bucks, great deal. You guys know I'm not a big live album fan, but this one here by the Scorpions is really good. Don't know if it's worth 21 bucks, but it's excellent.
album that introduced me to the Divinals. This one is self-titled. All right, here's my first Billy Idol album. Had this one on cassette. Absolutely loved it. It's essentially a greatest hits, but it's full of remixes on it. All right, so here's a cool find. This one here is only a buck fifty. Quite the find on this one. Let's see, how many versions are there of this? One, two, three, four, five, six. You think they've got enough live throwing copper? All right, time for a guilty pleasure. Who owns this one? Here's another really good one. This one here is also very hard to find at a buck fifty here. Really great deal. Here's one in the $1.50 section that normally I would have freaked out over, except if you look closely at it, it is water damage. So glad I bought the one I did and paid a little bit more for it. All right, here's an album from Bruce Springsteen's wife, Abby Scalfa. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but do like her a lot. She's a great vocalist. All right, here's another one, The Spin Doctors. One, two, three, four, five, pocket full of kryptonite. This one you don't see very often, Fiona. Great stuff, been reissued on CD through Rock Candy Records. Now you can pick it up. Right, I couldn't resist this one. A Jenna Jameson bobblehead. Kind of seems like something that uh, they shouldn't make, but uh, maybe it's sort of tongue in cheek, right? All right, everyone, so we're back. Hopefully you enjoyed that experience at Book Off. Going along with me, hearing some of my commentary and thoughts on things. You know whether or not it had to do with my own collection and or what the release was but there was some great stuff in there and uh, maybe it gave you guys some ideas of stuff to go search out yourself but i did get a little bit of loot here i uh, got it in my bag so let's pull it out didn't make as big a score as i normally do when going there but i had been there about two to three weeks ago so it hadn't been that long it was just uh I felt the need to go back to the record store, so I did. Um, you, you saw this one because it was on the top of uh, the ones that I was buying there, but the Jean-Luc Ponty uh, album here called uh, Civilized Evil, 1980 release. This one here still had a very 70s sound to it, but um, not quite as uh, what he would turn into in the 80s, even though this is a 1980s album. But um, I actually own that one in one of those um, five little CD things that comes in the sleeves in a little box. Uh, and you can get those for like 20 bucks kind of a thing. But you know me, I like the jewel case and I like the original one. So this one here was 15. It was a little more than I like to pay for these things, but I had yet to see this one. I've come across a bunch of Jean-Luc Ponty recently in different ways, but his stuff is hard to find in terms of like these kind of albums and stuff. And so uh, one of the ones that I told you that I had gone for was this one here, the Eddie Money, Sound of Money. The reason I wanted it is three of these are unreleased tracks. They were newly recorded for this here. So you got 10 hits with this thing, but you also got three new songs. And um, I've been doing that recently, doing them, buying up collections, old ones from the 80s and early 90s, where bands added new recordings to their greatest hits you know today we don't get that the greatest hits are literally just the hits and there's nothing new on them there's no alternative uh, versions or anything of that nature so i've been going back and buying these up and really enjoying them um and so i added to it another eddie money one that um uh, didn't have but this one here uh, glad to add to the collection uh, you know and this one has walk on water 
you know, on it and a few of the other ones that we know him for. But a little bit later, one of the, I would say, the last hit albums he had from 1988. And then uh, Deep Purple. So a little collection here, this one here, long title. Uh, when we rock, we rock, and when we roll, we roll. So eight tracks on this one, nothing new per se. It's got a couple live renditions and things like that, but it's an early collection um, that uh, covered a bunch of cool stuff there. And so just something to add to my collection to flesh things out. And, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this and you guys will have to let me know if you enjoyed that commentary or not. And uh, we'll see, it's not something I normally do on the videos, but I thought I'd try something a little different for this one. So. Everyone have a great day, take care, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Bye-bye, guys.